Hello, I'm Dr. Simpson. Many people today are talking about diets that are gluten-free. More restaurants are offering gluten-free menus, and there are websites, chiropractors, and others proclaiming that if you go on a gluten-free diet, it'll provide improved health. But let's be clear, unless you have an allergy to gluten, removing gluten from your diet will not provide better health, it won't provide weight loss, and eliminating gluten will dramatically decrease the amount of foods that you can eat. There are certain people who have problems with gluten, and for them, having a gluten-free diet is critical. We call that condition celiac disease. There are other names for it, such as gluten-sensitive enteropathy, non-tropical sprue, or celiac sprue, but it's all the same variety. What is gluten? Gluten is a protein that's found in wheat, predominantly, barley, rye, and oats. It's the protein that allows wheat to have its elasticity, meaning it allows you to roll out the dough or toss the dough in the air to make a delicious pizza. You can't do that with a lot of the non-gluten grains. Try and make a pizza with just corn flour alone or rice flour. Gluten is also a great thickener in soups, ketchup, soy sauce, and is found in almost every processed food. Take out gluten from the American diet and you'll be challenged to find good alternatives. People who truly have celiac disease or an allergy to gluten, and I put allergy in quotes, are typically described as people who have malnutrition, iron deficiency anemia, osteoporosis, infertility, short stature, and inability to thrive. But those classic symptoms aren't necessarily common. There are a number of patients who have been found to have silent celiac disease only discovered on a biopsy of their bowel. What happens is this. The bowel surface contains a lot of villi, like these little fingers. And those fingers provide the surface area of the bowel which nutrients can go through. When you have celiac disease, the gluten causes a reaction that those villi atrophy and go away and just have a smooth, smooth surface, which is why you get the iron deficiency anemia and the osteoporosis. Celiac disease is best diagnosed by a biopsy of the small intestine. Typically, this is done by an endoscopy. However, we have seen a number of patients that were endoscopically negative, but distal small bowel was tremendously positive. So sometimes with the high degree of clinical suspicion, you even need a surgeon to take a biopsy of the bowel. While celiac disease is classically described as an allergy to gluten, it does promote some antibodies against what are connective tissue and uh, elements. So some people will call this an autoimmune disease. However, when you remove the gluten, the autoimmune antibodies go away. So the other thought is that the protein for gluten is unfolded in such a way that it mimics the antibodies in the small bowel or that connective tissue. And when the gluten is taken away, you no longer have developed those antibodies. We don't know the prevalence of celiac disease. It has been described as anywhere from 1 in 1,000, 1 in 3,000, 1 in 300, 1 in 100. But we know this. Celiac disease has a strong genetic component. Identical twins, 70% of the time, if one has it, the other one will have celiac disease also. So it's not a complete penetration. We know there are certain genetic markers that are, can be positive. And if everybody who had that genetic marker had celiac disease, in the United States, about 1 in 22 people would have celiac disease. Fortunately, it is not a completely expressed gene. So how do we diagnose it? Well, there are actually, besides doing a biopsy, there are some blood tests that are well over 90% sensitive and specific, meaning you'll have very few false negatives or very few false positives. So if you suspect you have celiac disease and are worried about gluten, have a biopsy or have the blood test first. And if the blood test is negative and you're still having symptoms, consider having a biopsy. However, we know this. If you do not have celiac disease, going on a gluten-free diet will not help you. It will tremendously limit the amounts of foods that are available to you for really no good reason. So if you have, think you have celiac disease, by all means, get a proper diagnosis by a physician, an MD or a DO. They can't be diagnosed by a chiropractor, naturopath, or homeopath. I'm Dr. Simpson, and that's your doctor's orders.